Welcome to Cardboard Content, where we aim to develop our skills and grow the competitive commander community. Here are three tips for your competitive commander game. My name is Benedict. I'm Lance. And these tips aren't necessarily deck related. They might not even be commander related, but they are good practice to keep in mind while you're playing your games. Uh, our first tip is to not unintentionally show your hand to other players at the table. So many people are very, very bad about this. It's a bad habit. Very it's a bad, bad habit, habit to get out. If you come from like a, a 1v1, mm -hmm. or you come from playing modern, you not you don't really think about having to show your hand to anyone to the side of you. Yeah, It's yeah. not something you think about a lot. What some people like to do, and this is not always possible because sometimes with four players at a table, it's really tight. But what I like to do is try to angle my chair in a way that when the hand's facing me, I, there's no one to the left or right of me that can see my hand if I'm holding it at this angle. No one else on this side of me can see it. Not always possible, and especially in like tournaments where table space is limited or you know, and you're playing at somebody's home or something, or at a store where the space is really small, it's not always possible. It's good, good practice that even if you're in a small space, you can still have your hand at an angle, at an angle, but still sit at the table with the other four players correctly. Makes sense. Yeah. Keeping cards face down on the table or at an angle is ideal for not revealing your hands. <laughs> Another one I see on spell table, I'm starting to see it more often, is uh, they'll write on a dry erase how many cards are in their hand. You know, cards in hand three, and they'll put their hands. And this is what I like to do when I'm playing in real life too, is I put my hand down on a table in a way that, that my other opponents can see how many cards I have in my hand. Or if, uh, for instance, on spell table, they'll write cards in hand three, so everyone else can see how many cards they have in their hand without them bleeding it accidentally to the camera or what have you. That makes sense. Watch your opponent for their tells. This is taking inspiration from poker, but you want to watch them for certain t interactions. You know, you want to cast a spell and you want it to be successful, so you have to literally just watch your opponents and see if you can get any reads off of them. Yeah, I think this tip is as much being able to control how you react to the card you draw, as well as seeing how your opponents react to the cards they draw. Things you want to watch out for, like a player draws a card and they suddenly change the way they uh, emote, right? They sit up or they suddenly pay more attention. And some people have a horrible poker face. They'll be like, oh my gosh, I drew the nuts. And be like, oh, you know. <laughs> right, and it can also be used to your advantage. You might have drawn a dud yeah. and you sit up. And other people, if you know other people are looking and watching how you react when you draw, you can also play off that. So something to keep in mind when you're playing and drawing your cards. When you're playing a win condition, they like to shuffle the cards around their hand and they like to put their permission either to the front of their hand or to the back of their hand. It's something you see a lot. So something to look out for is when you are casting anything or playing anything, how do the other players react to the cards in their hands? Are they moving them to the fore of their hand? Are they moving them to the back mm -hmm, of their hand? Mm -hmm. That could also be a tell of what they have. That is hand. a very, very good tell. I have a player that I know, that I keep in mind, and uh, they keep like their lands to the back, then like creatures and any permanence, and then spells and interactions in the front. Yep. So I'll see them look at their hand, something in the back, they're like, oh, he's going to play a land. I'm, I'm telling you that in my head, like, the guy's going to play a land. He grabs a card from the back and plays it a land, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so good good practice tip. Uh, say you tutor, <clears throat> detutor a card to your hand. Don't just detutor from your library and then cast it straight into play. Put it in your hand, shuffle your hand up a little bit, then play the card. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. might not know the card you tutored for is the card you're playing. They don't need to know. You need to keep that information for yourself. The more information you have, the better informed player you can be. A good reason to do that, shuffle your hand after you got it. Maybe you didn't get a combo piece. Maybe you got a counter spell to protect your combo piece. So, you know, you want to shuffle your hand around and make them think you tutored for that Thassa's Oracle exactly. or that consult. Yeah. And when you actually just tutored for a counter spell. When you have a chance to hide the information, hide the information. Shuffling, this is kind of a controversial topic, right? I've been in games where players will mana weave their cards and they'll do a very easy like half deck, three deck shuffle and then they'll present the deck to you. 
obviously that's not legal but there are some players especially newer players that they don't know that they don't know that's not a legal shuffle or or the amount of randomness is not present mm -hmm. in a deck that's way mm -hmm. uh, and if that happens you know just you can either call a judge or what I, uh, what we like to do is grab the deck and shuffle it ourselves a deck to its true randomness and if, if you have any concerns about that definitely call a judge about players mana weaving or not sufficiently cutting or shuffling their deck and always when you're presented a deck to cut or to shuffle always cut it or shuffle it a different way than you did last time because what some players like to do and this is not common right but some people like to notice how you cut their deck and because you always cut the same way they'll always put cards back in the same way to make sure that the cards they want are on top yeah because they know how you cut the deck for instance i see the player cuts the card or the deck three-fourths from the top so i'm gonna leave that ad nauseum or that counter spell or whatever i need up at the top especially if they're cutting the same way let the other players know too hey you're cutting his deck maybe suggest hey, cut a little different or distract them or do something so that player doesn't get that advantage over the whole table yeah and uh, kind of tying back to our first tip about not revealing hidden information when you do shuffle your own deck try to do it where the face cards are facing yourself or you know away from the table away from the other players you never you never want to just give free information to your opponents unless you have to again keep it keep your information hidden face the cards to yourself shuffle to your shuffle the face cards to yourself and in fairness try not to look at your own face cards as you shuffle i know it's hard 100 card decks are really big and it's hard to, hard to shuffle them without looking at them but there are ways to do it if once you get a feel for shuffling how to move your deck around you you find a way to do it yeah when shuffling your deck i know it's very difficult you don't want to reveal information and it's hard to shuffle 100 cards sometimes it double sleeves some people even triple sleeves their deck you can do it in smaller chunks just take cut the deck in half cut it into a third do a few riffle shuffles there a few cut shuffles there do it with the second pile and then put it all together and then present it revealing information is very very pivotal you can use that as an advantage also let's say player a has used two of their free counter spells the person's tapped out and they're shuffling their deck and you see the pack of negation is in there somewhere and you're like okay well it's not in his hand he just tutored for a land so i think i'm free to cast this spell so keeping that information to yourself again shuffling and making sure you're not revealing any information is ideal so those are our three tips for your commander game not deck related but again keep in mind good practice thank you for watching our video here on cardboard content don't forget to like and subscribe follow us on other social medias i'll link down below and uh till next time my lungs <laughs> I felt it in my soul <laughs> and everything just shoots up oh like all the water yeah. yeah it felt like the ocean going through my body grow oh, our skills and not I just read it <laughs> develop and then grow aim to grow our no develop <laughs>